Well, good morning. Guten Tag. We um, <clears throat> had a pretty good day yesterday. We've got some walls up inside. I didn't get a whole lot of footage taken. Uh, it was pretty windy again yesterday, so... I know it's annoying to try and listen to that sort of stuff uh, with wind noise sort of going on in the background the whole time. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what we got up to. We've got these walls up behind me here. This is the back of the kitchen. Then there's a dividing wall between the larder and the laundry and the back door. Uh, we also got this side, which is the entryway completed. So this tall wall here goes all the way up to the roof panels where there is a seam. There's a join in the roof panels. The panels will span six meters. This is seven and a half or something a bit better. Seven, no, just over seven meters. But we've got a join 2.7 from the end wall. That makes these panels a little bit more easy to handle, but uh, they need to be supported through that join. So there's this wall on the side here will actually continue across the top on bearers that will come out from the back wall, cantilevered on the back of the kitchen wall. So the bearers will come out and we'll build another wall on top of that, which will be in line with this wall here. So that'll run all the way through. That guy up there, that window, is one that we're going to replace with uh, something that will fit. And we've put this other monster wall up over here, which is the same uh, high point to the roof. So that window up there is also going to be ordered. So that uh, right in the corner there with the pitch on it, we'll get another window for there. Charlie has finally learned not to bark at nail guns for the most part, which is good. Every now and then she'll give a little arf just to make us aware that we are using a nail gun. So she's being very protective, aren't you? Yes. So we've notched these LVLs into the studs. To take some load above the doorway, because obviously there's no studs going down through the middle of the doorway. And we've got a similar one over here. And these mainly are to support the triangular framing for the base of the windows. But they'll also take some load above the doorways. So they're notched in nice. Can't wait to get this beam across the top here done. Uh, that's probably going to happen in the next a uh, few days, I suppose. What are we today? Wednesday. We've got this wall to build, bearers and whatnot. Yeah, maybe early next week we might start on this guy. Uh, we're getting close. We've got pretty much all of the internal walls done. Um, it's, yeah, coming along quite nicely. Anyway, it's starting to rain. Alex probably isn't too far off turning up, so I better go and get ready.
we'll bang this guy in here. This one's going to be tight. There must be a little bit of a bow through these beams here. Should we make it square? Probably. Probably. Oh, look at that. It's unbelievable. That one's going to go over there. Hey, you're in the way. That's going to go there. That one's going to go there. Uh, barely taking out the shank. So uh, there's plenty of grip still in the screw, but it means that we're not going to split the timber. I suppose is what I'm going for. Let's pop one straight in there so it doesn't move on me. These are 125 mil bugle heads. Or what's that? Five bananas. You're all probably very sick of watching me put in bugle heads by now, aren't you? I think that might be it. I think I might knock off after this. How's that? Pretty good. Go there. We'll have the heat recovery ventilation system up here. We'll have some ducting going hopefully straight through the middle of that box beam. Those are two walls that go straight up there. Two walls of a triangle. The third wall is the wall with the window above it. So that'll bounce light down in that triangular cavity into the entryway down there. And the guy over here will do the same for the room above the vanity. I am going to get stuck into putting some screws into the back of these joists before Alex gets here. Um, we want to put some flooring sheets up today. I want to just make sure, I want to make doubly sure really that they're all nice and secure. Um, so I'm going to use this, I can't remember what it's called, a fluted, fluted spade bit perhaps, something like that. It's got a little auger that pulls it into the timber and then it's got four cutting flutes that um, chowder out a perfect hole for the head of a bugle screw. And you know I love bugle screws, so that's uh, a really nice size. So because I want to put these screws in at an angle, if I just drive them in here like this, all of this will split out. But it could also pull the joist over that way. And what I'm hoping if I do this correctly I can sort of drive this in here and then angle it and then that will give me a good flat surface on 90 degrees to this which the head of the screw will hook into and instead of pulling the beam over it will hopefully just pull it in the direction of the screw and not so much sideways Well, that worked really nicely. Let's keep doing that about, I don't know, 50 times. So this is the manhole in the laundry. We'll have a access ladder coming down from there. We've 
put another brace in the top across there. We've put a bit of extra strapping on there and a tensioner just to pull those two walls into level. They're looking really nice now and the whole lot is braced against itself. So that was the morning's work. Gonna go and have some lunch. What do you think about lunch, Charlie Dog? You just want a nap, don't you? <laughs> <laughs>